from uh, the keynote. Uh, it's along the lines of uh, <coughs> making uh, semantic media wiki as an application uh, development platform. So I'm going to talk about motivation and uh, then uh, an overview of a application we built called Help Desk. And then you know, I show a little more about the demo of how to really build that application. Uh, finally, some uh, summary. Uh, I think for this audience, I probably will just really skip over this uh, slide. You know, we all know how to use uh, SMW you know, and uh, what it's uh, really good for, and uh, you know, from workflow to collaboration. And this is the things you need to do to make a SMW application, right? That schema to the form, you know, customization, templating, uh, query skins, and all those things. In order to do it well, uh, you really need to learn. Lot. You know, the learning curve is, uh, is not really uh, steep, but you know, not that easy. Uh, so, you know, being experts, we really need that. Being experts is not that uh, uh, easy. So, really need to lower the bar. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> to make it like this. So, uh, <laughs> we all can do it. Uh, we really don't want people to do the coding, but rather than modeling. Content is key, which the people focus on the content rather than focusing on how to get this code working. You know, why this uh, bracket is not you know, uh, match or something like that. You know, I missed a, uh, a pipeline or something, things to stop working. So, uh, frameworks actually done very well. And this is so the goal of this uh, extension is to basically get more users to use MW. You know, uh, the, the, this little Part uh, in a core functions code, you need to really learn how to program into the right functions. And then you know the metadata is more like the configuration or modeling, and the data you know, pretty much uh, the end user can use. So we want to get more users to use the uh, uh, extension. We need to focus on metadata. Um, so the way is really is to model metadata and SW. SMW is a perfect tool seem to do this because it already has uh, metadata. Everything pretty much is metadata or data, depending on how you think about that. Like uh, a lot of value, let's see how formats have been semantic forms and the uh, table at the uh, brand and uh, any other things, the type. These are metadata. So we built this metadata modeling. <coughs> uh, it's really prototype. And uh, uh, we named it differently. You know, uh, Origin and the visual editor, we want to get some widgets uh, to be combined to build applications. And then we add some layout to be called like designer and then page maker, but it's, it's the same thing. We're still uh, uh, you know, trying to figure out what exactly we should do. So first, I'll show you a quick overview of that. You can actually get the query uh, updated here by uh, just select query and, uh, and get it basically uh, done. So, and the way to uh, uh, open. this is my page, and the way it works is you have the some users and some uh, customer servers, uh, service agents. And say I go back here, I log in as the user, uh, his name is Ning, but we just uh, call her who uh, probably will help with this. Uh, so this is more like a, a, a view of the, all this, the current status of this help desk uh, application. 
way go this is Ning uh, implication geography did something and uh, this is a template you can see that um, but we actually build it using the, uh, the tool. So the way it works is the way uh, you can create a ticket by this button and then uh, give the subject say my phone does not have service comment is uh, no signal. Uh, you know, uh, basically, you know, can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and so there you can choose, uh, like, look at here, right? This is text box. You choose uh, mobile, <coughs> and uh, you realize here it actually changed to a uh, uh, job down. So, uh, you can say uh, you know, a bunch of things here, uh, let's just say others. And uh, you have a screenshot or some details in the grid land of Europe. And now you're saying. So, it's automatic. so this ticket is automatic save with a number. And uh, is created by the so it's already actually I just use over one but anyway so uh, it's active and it's uh, uh, going to go back to the I am here the <coughs> customer service agent and I can go to the page to look at the dashboard, which is the general view of the system. We've got uh, some customers of agents, we have some tickets here, and <coughs> this is one that just opened, so I just opened the ticket. And you can see uh, there's some uh, links uh, you can click. So I can assign it to Jesse, for example. And I have a comment saying, uh, I'll take it. And uh, some uh, changes to save. Uh, once this is done, you can resolve it. I just want to show you uh, if this works, but uh, I, I have all of running and you should be able to receive an email uh, about the application that is in change is done to, you, uh, to, to me, so I will be, uh, be able to get an email notification of this. Um, so now you can resolve it. It's the same thing, basically. Uh, uh, put some comments there. Uh, whatever, the, the card doesn't work before. So this is a more like workflow, and uh, so different users see different things. If you go back to the Nings page and refresh that, he will. You will see this close button. Before that, he didn't see it. Because uh, uh, he doesn't have the privilege to do that, so he can close this one. So, this is an overview of how it works. Um, then, let's take a look of uh, how, uh, how this. So let's start with uh, the basic thing. Let's start to create a 
a category or a class. Basically, what I'm doing is I want to add something. Uh, let's see how this works. So this. Just the dummy page. Then once you create, I can not have to, but I just create this page. Once you create that, you can see that we have category widgets. Click on that. It's not there anymore. It's not there yet. So you can actually. Uh, To, uh, like, uh, do something, right? You can append to your settings. I can create one called a uh, pen. change the data type this to be uh, a number for them. And can the default number here or can you can have possible values two from one, two, three, five, four, five. And then you can also do a range, you can make this look like a section or it can make like a table uh, like an info box style. If you don't want to make this option, I want you to do really do it. So If you want to save this, you can go back to the category page. Now you can create a new review item. Thank you. 
Oh, sorry about that. I didn't. Actually, no microphones being used. We talked about using it for the uh, yeah. Yeah. should have this two fields there. And, oh, here it is, but it doesn't have the, the other one for some reason. So it's lazy. I may be able to save it. But uh, let's just do it here. Uh, anyway, so suppose this is the way it works. Um, then you save the page, but now you have a a review, but what do you think? I want the review to be in the, uh, in the ticket. So this is the way you can get into the ticket. You go to ticket, and you edit this widget. You do editing widgets, you can add that review actually right into this widget here. This is something that's just been changed. I made wrong with the, uh, the access control so that uh, now showing up here. Sorry about that. Uh, so the review is part of this uh, um, this uh, ticket, and and this just enables user to uh, create um, 
embed existing objects into new objects. And you can also do inheritance. How much time do I have? I think you better wrap up. Okay. So, you can do a similar thing. You want to create, a, say, maybe another category, right? You create you basically follow the same thing, you can actually something to do and you can just uh, this is inherited rather than aggregation. Um, so you can create the same using a similar method to create cat rigid by something strong with this part. Uh, shouldn't have this field settings here. So this is this part if you you're looking at is uh, uh, the customer part, and uh, that has uh, is from the parent group of customers, and also the customer is inherited from uh, the person. If you look at on college browser, you'll be able to see uh, customers and customer service agents are both inherited from uh, the person. So, and now let's just add one more uh, widget here. Let's add uh, maybe a company name, or like say uh, uh, contact. It's basically a dedicated uh, or direct responsible. Now we can go back to this new category, VIP customer. And we can create a customer, say, um, and this customer is based on person. You can have some uh, name, specific phone number, and this is address. And this is another thing you can uh, US. This part, you can do the province as well. So, uh, this is the, basically the, the action connector connecting things. This is my question. Do you do that with JavaScript or do you do that with state drops in this case? I'll, I'll, I'll show you later. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there you have this VIP con uh, contacts, and uh, uh, it's a direct response personnel that are valued from the customer uh, agents. And so, uh, so the way uh, basically we can see the uh, how it works and uh, uh, and also to, you know the detail of the demo about you know how to get things set up and then we have some other ways like you see actual content and there's a way also to add the action connector that part uh, you know to uh, when one when the value of one field changes, uh, we will call the value of another field change, that's called action connector. There's a way of uh, the user in a friendly way to uh, specify the value. Um, so hopefully I've showed you, uh, I've shown you how, how, how to do the metadata programming or modeling through this uh, system. And uh, uh, 
it's really easy to use. And above all, we actually, you know, all the things that can be uh, done in a day. Um, so, uh, so what we've done, I think we've uh, tried to prove like we can actually do uh, object-oriented programming in the, uh, using SMW, uh, categories, classes, and property attributes, and so on. Uh, it's, it's simple, but it's, uh, we think it's effective. And it's easy to build, uh, because it's modeling rather than uh, programming. And you handle the metric data rather than the, the real code. And it uh, enables reuse of existing objects, you know, inheritance and aggregation. And uh, it's also all within the wiki, so it's supposed to be open and uh, collaborative. You know, all the users can contribute to the code. Uh, yeah, drag jobs, you know, editing something, for them, uh, making some choices. So the, another benefit for this is to enable faster program. We think of if you use traditional modern programming tools like Java or Ruby, you need a month to do that. Uh, SMW will probably give you a week you know, to get the forms ready, templates down, act, you know, uh, echo, you know, choosing the, uh, picking the extensions. You know. SMW Plus is better than these three days, but for us, we can actually do it in one day. Uh, the basic thing I've probably done in two hours, and then spend some time improving that. So, um, the next step, I think you see the user interface not still very polished, so we're going to spend some time refining that. And uh, uh, also, we will get better data IO into a system to support the lead out model. We we'll build that, but this uh, thing doesn't quite use it all the time. And finally, you know, make certain UI improvements like action edits and like that. Uh, what I need is to the uh, this community support. We need users, customers who to use it to help tell the test it, tell it what uh, you want uh, so you can make it better. And then we need uh, developers. Uh, if uh, you've got interest in help us, uh, we can make it, uh, have it together, uh, make it faster out of the world. Uh, so uh, thanks everyone. I'm sorry about the inconvenience of the demo. <laughs> we just, uh,
can put something here, but So um, in this widget editor, you have several fields called um, <coughs> some extra content. You can add it. And you click on it, you can basically put in the fields like you want to put there. Like this is one of the things you can edit. And this is a Visivic editor, but it's not a full Visivic editor yet. So we could um, borrow a better Visivic editor and add it to things here. Uh, and also you can do some kind of text content. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm really sorry about this. It's, uh, it should be able to edit for all these things. It, it just worked fine this morning. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we tweaked a little bit, but uh, I didn't realize that it's actually changed a lot. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Hopefully you get the idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, maybe uh, by the end of the day or, I don't know, uh, Next week, I'll send an email to the community when it's stabilized a little bit and I'll uh, see uh, what we can do. I'd really like to have more people actually contributing ideas or requ uh, requirements or, or, or even time to help us. But that's All right. Great time, sorry. <laughs>